So again, all that's all that's in the news right now is all this corruption, right? All the names: Brannon, CIA guy, Comey, Page, Stokes, Strokes, McCabe. Right? There's mass corruption, right? And it's all it's all coming out, right? But who's who's get? Where's the where's the consequence to it? James Comey's on a book tour and. Look, the corruption is is deep, but as as I as I've said before, and I'll say it again, is that if this was a court of law, court of law, like New York accent, a court of law, discovery is now over, in that we already know the evidence is in, right? We already we already have the evidence that. All of these high-placed officials in the FBI and law enforcement are perverted by the money, right? There's no other, there's nothing else, right? They don't do it for politics. They don't do it because James Comey particularly likes Hillary Clinton. No, they do it for, they do it for money and position and power, right? At the expense of the American people because, you know, a, a Clinton presidency would have been, you know, Arguably the most corrupt presidency in the history of America, right? What I'm trying to say is that what I see is people venomously opposing the corruption and saying, even Giuliani himself saying, look, the Democrats are very corrupt. But he, he, he won't, he won't, because he's playing that politics game. You can't blame your own guys. But they're just as corrupt. All the all the you know senators and congressmen right now are all in the same category because they all are in the same system of corruption of t- of taking money, bribes. That's the problem, right? So what I'm trying to say in this short couple of minutes is that even even if we got even if we got our our day right where. We see Hillary Clinton get carted off to jail. Oh, how sweet, right? Okay. Who would, who would love to see that more than us, right? We see Hillary Clinton with handcuffs getting carted off to jail. James Comey and like, like the OJ trial. But you know, you, you gotta remember that even if they do get carted off to jail, they're gonna fight with every penny they have and they're not gonna, you know, it's a waste of time, right? But 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 the the real core of it is even if what I'm trying to say is even if those things happen, it's not going to change the policies because you, it's human nature. You just get the next class of you know scumbags to come in and they see that money and they get they come in as do-gooders and then someone someone slides a million dollars under the table and they take it. So unless you Okay, you, unless you address the, the, the money in politics, current situation with how the money flowed into the Clinton Foundation and eventually found its way to the FBI and Andy McCabe and all those guys and how they systematically rigged an election and blamed Russia and, you know, tried to blame Trump. and right? So unless you address the money, you're not going to – you don't solve the problem. That's what I'm saying, right? So again, if you want, you know, you know, I, I one other thing I, I noticed that a lot of people, um, uh, older Americans like 60s, 70s, they're they're very fe- 80s. They're very fearful of. They keep watching mainstream media, and mainstream media keeps telling them that the Republicans are going to take your health care. They're going to take away your Medicare and your Medicaid. So you have to vote Democrat. Right? We have to defuse that lie because that, that really is a lie. It's not Democrat or Republican. Congress, as Bernie Sanders has said over and over again, is that all the senators and all the congressmen want to gut Medicaid and Medicare, right? That's just the way it is. So they have more money to, you know, it's, that's, that's the Democrats. Hey, look, if the Democrats really wanted health care for all, they would have, in 2008, they would have backed single payer health care. That's the ticket that Obama ran on and he folded. Right? Obamacare. It's garbage. It's just a it's just another version of pay for play. So to my to my friends who fear their Medicaid and their Medicare, 
are going to be saved by the Democrats. Uh, you're, 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 you're wrong. You have to get behind. You have to get behind policies that advocate single payer, universal free health care for all. And you take the middleman out. You take the insurance companies out. You take the you take big pharma out of the equation. And then that problem of of covering all Americans goes away. You see, and it's cheaper to do. It's very easy to do. So that's all for now. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, candidate for the United States Senate here in New York. Peace.